What's up guys, John from PoopaPlay.com here today with another On The Farm video. I'll fully admit right now I forgot to film the intro at the farm because it was obnoxiously hot. We were under a heat advisory this day, so that's always fun, right? I think the heat didn't see was around 105 to 108, somewhere in there. It was hot. So, we're digging another row of potatoes and this time we topped them first. Okay, we cut all the tops off and we discovered a vole run. If you don't know what a vole is, it's kind of a mix between a mouse and a mole. You can Google it if you want, it's called a vole. Okay, so we cut all the, the tops off of this row of potatoes, kind of like in farm sim when you use the potato top reverse. Just, there's so many tops that, oh, Mike says hi by the way. There's so many tops that it just didn't work very well last week, so we decided to cut the tops off and as you can see, it is working better. If you haven't seen last week's video, go check it out. It's in the playlist, of course. But it's working a whole lot better this week, so we're probably, we've got two more rows of potatoes to dig after this row, which we did not do on this day of filming. And uh, so the next two rows, we will most likely be cutting tops off those rows as well. As you can see, the potatoes just boiled out of the ground. It only had one potato stuck this time. It didn't have all the tops and everything like I did last week, so worked quite a bit better. And, yeah, it takes more time and more effort and everything, but it uh, in the end, I think it was worth it because the potatoes just dug a lot better this week. So that's always a good thing, right? But as you can see, you just got to fish through and find the taters, basically. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt almost or something. That's what you tell kids anyway, you know. Make it a game so they uh, dig better. But there are no kids down there. Nephew was uh, out of town. So he's not one for uh, manual labor anyway, so that's okay. So we're just gonna dig through and, and find as many taters as we can. Dad and Mike are on the other end of the row, um, filling up buckets as well, so that we can go get them washed up, because no one dirty taters, right? That's never good. So as you guys can see, the yield is pretty good on these uh, potatoes. We were a little worried about them because of our chicken manure last fall and having like too much nitrogen in the ground and being all tops, you know, we were worried about the potatoes just being tops this year. But uh, it seems like so far with these first two rows we've dug, we've gotten quite a bit. Pretty happy with the yield so far. But by cutting the tops off, it just works so much better. And the potato tops are really kind of a pain to get rid of, so we're actually just piling them up for now and we'll leave them off to the side. Um, sometime this fall, we'll probably end up burning them, just to get rid of them. And, uh, yeah, so just, you know, there's potatoes for days, basically. And we've been eating quite a few potatoes lately, trying to eat all these up. And right there, I stuck my hand kind of deep in the ground, because the ground, compared to the air temperature, the ground was quite cool that day. And I was like, huh, the ground's actually kind of cold, which is weird, so. Uh, it was just, it was miserably hot. And uh, as you can see right here, sometimes you do get ants in your hills of potatoes. Those are all little ant larvae. Which is one of the reasons you wash the potatoes off before you bring them home. They're covered in ants sometimes. Oh, so now we need water, obviously, to wash the potatoes, right? If I could, you know, this whole like working with one hand, filming with the other, I'm still getting used to it. it. It takes a little bit, guys. So this is our pump house. This is where our pump sits. We have a 28 foot well that goes down and suck the wa sucks the water right out of the ground. So you guys were wondering, that's how we get our water. We have a six hour timer, which I'm turning on right there. So the pump could run for up to six hours after we leave to water sweet corn or potatoes or water whatever after we would leave let's say and then you know when we go down there and you know we're not down there all the time so we could turn it on and let it run so right here dad actually found one of the original potatoes that we planted back in the spring if you guys remember that video where dad was cutting the potatoes up that was one of them it uh it's kind of weird that we found it back usually we find them back and they're rotten because they've been sitting in the ground for you know what's it been a couple months now so yeah, we're just going to fill these buckets up and uh, get them soaked in so I can wash them off here in a little bit. 
this was the best job this particular Sunday was washing potatoes because I was in the water and I ended up with like the entire front of me soaked in water but that water is nice and cold so I was okay with it because it was so so hot so here's that original potato again just a little close-up view um, it's pretty funny that it came out completely fine and right there there's kind of that divot and uh, that's where we think the sprout came from right there where I have my thumb is where the sprout came from and then the rest of the potatoes just kind of chilled which is very unusual so like I said normally we pull them out and they're all rotten and smelly so I spared you guys a bunch of footage of actually washing potatoes and I just went ahead and got it done and I was soaked at this point but that's okay look at this giant one there were a couple of real big ones I had to put my hand in there for scale so you guys could just tell it's ridiculous that'll feed you know a couple people anyway so and then dad got out the tiller and tilled up the ground as you guys can see in the background there those are all the potato tops just kind of chilling and like I said we're just gonna pile them up and we'll probably end up burning them later um, whatever we do with them I'll have footage of it so update on the disc the main frame is done all nice and painted up there's just a couple spots I need to touch up but that's alright we went ahead and put it on the tractor and put it in a different shed now we're in the garden cantaloupe they're growing quite nicely and they are actually starting to bloom a few of them so we'll have cantaloupe setting on before too long you guys will get to see that journey as well remember we, when we planted them they were nice and small these are the sweet potatoes you guys got to see us plant them and uh, they're growing quite nicely as well everything's a little slow getting going because we had so much rain when we had so much rain you get cloudy days and stuff just kind of stands there you know it doesn't really grow too fast or anything so this is the third planting of sweet corn it's doing well it's setting on ears and uh, boom we're over to pumpkins these are the pumpkins dad and Mike planted and uh, they're growing quite nicely they are some of them are at vine out stage and um, some of them are still growing they kind of grow up first and then all of a sudden they'll shoot vines out that's what we call a vine out so right here you can see this one's at vine out you can see it's starting to vine out already how many times did I just say vine out leave it in the comments below or something it's much so these are some pumpkins that aren't quite at vine out stage these are like the second planting of the pumpkins we had a couple different plantings and we still actually have some to go we're supposed to be planting almost all the way to that corn down there so we'll see if we actually get that done and these are the soybeans these are some of the best looking soybeans in our area as far as I'm concerned they're on kind of blacker dirt and they were put in kind of early so they're good and this is the asparagus if you guys didn't know that's what asparagus looks like in the summertime our leaf malt and stuff is doing a good job thanks for watching hit that like button for more and hoodles <laughs>